Almost a week after Hurricane Sally made landfall and the drain of recovery is being felt by a lot of folks, but there is also a bright side. Electricity is being restored, streets are being cleared, and neighbors are helping each other. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams has that story in Foley. We're a couple of blocks off Highway 59 in Foley, and neighborhoods like this one, almost a week after Hurricane Sally, still struggling to recover. A welcome sight as power crews, tree crews, and debris trucks enter into neighborhoods of Foley that some say have been forgotten in the recovery effort. But even in the worst of times, I know ever a lot of people have power, but this little section doesn't. Kendra Parker finds the silver lining. A lot of us have been trying to just help each other and running generators and things, so um, it's been a blessing in a way for people too because you know people come together at a time like this. It's been a long week for most. Is there shaking? Cedar? I'm just tired. I'm just tired wanting to hot bath, but thank God I'll praise him when I get that. I've been taking baby white baths. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still without electricity, Tony Phillips has seen the power of neighbors helping neighbors. I wish the world could see our little bit of heaven here on LA, Lower Alabama. Because they are all pulling together, aren't they? We all are. The lights will come back on, the streets cleared, and at some point, Sally will be a memory. Just not yet. Crews are now being able to get to these little neighborhoods in communities like Foley, Magnolia Springs, Bon Secours. Power is coming on, but it is a slow process. On the Baldwin County Beat in Foley, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.